Sikh, which is pronounced Sikh in Punjabi, is a word which means a learner or a disciple. In that sense, we're all Sikh. And the word Sikhism was coined around 1900 by Westerners. Point number two, around 75% of the world's 24 million or so Sikhs live in one state of India, the Indian state of Punjab in the northwest. Point number three, the Sikh scripture is the Guru Granth Sahib. It's a volume of mystical verse by six of the Sikhs' ten gurus and other mystical poets. Number four, the Sikhs' ten human gurus lived during a period that roughly corresponds to the period of Mughal rule in North India. It started with Guru Nanak, a more or less contemporary of Martin Luther in the West. He was born in 1469. And the line of ten human gurus finished with the death of Guru Gobind Singh, the tenth guru, in 1708. Point number five, signifiers of being a Sikh. There are five which begin with the letter K in the Punjabi al alphabet. So the Kara, which is a wristband or, or bangle, and the, the Kangra, which is a wooden comb, which is worn in the hair. The uncut hair, Kish, is one of them. The Kirpan, which is a sword, often a very short sword, often worn underneath clothing. Um, and the Kutch, or the Kachahira, which are the, the breeches, usually worn as a form of underwear, but shorts, uh, which finish above the knee. Those are the five indicators that somebody is an initiated Sikh, initiated into the Khalsa community. Uh, but the turban is the respectful way of covering the uncut hair. Number six, key Sikh teachings include living a life which is focused on the Guru and focused on God rather than on the individual's whims and individual greed and so on. And the Sikh life is to be one that is a, a fine balance between service, voluntarily serving the community and also taking family responsibilities and contemplation, being mindful of the divine in everything one does. Point number seven, the Sikh's place of worship is called a Gurdwara. It's called a Gurdwara because it's where the Guru resides. And the Guru, the Guru Granth Sahib, the scripture, is central to everything that happens in the Gurdwara. People pay their respects. Every life cycle, rite and festival involves reading from the Guru Granth Sahib. And the Guru Granth Sahib is enthroned on cushions under a canopy and people behave in a particularly respectful way in the presence of the scriptures. Point number eight, Amritsar in Punjab is Sikh's spiritual centre. It's the place where the Golden Temple is, which is also known as Darbar Sahib and Harmandar Sahib. And it is visited by hundreds of thousands of people. So each day about 100,000 people receive free hospitality, cooked food in the langar, in the food hall of the Golden Temple in Amritsar. Number nine, the British, during the British Raj, regarded Sikhs as a martial race and favoured them in recruitment for the British Indian Army. And during the two world wars, over 80,000 Sikh soldiers lost their lives and over 109,000 were injured. Point number 10, the Gurus emphasised the irrelevance of gender, whether you were born male or female, and caste, which hereditary employment group you were born into. Totally irrelevant for spiritual progress. And so Sikhs have a belief in equality of all people.